is the sample room. It's more like a dumping ground. You're not clean in this room. Uh, yes, we are. You should have called hoarders before you called me. What you're looking at is my attempt to try to diversify the company. Larry, here's what I see here. These boxes are the reason that your business almost stopped and died. You put your, your family at risk so that what? You can have a warehouse full of crap? We were speculative. This can't happen ever again. It can't. There could be a half a million dollars of garbage here. A half a million dollars. Prevented you from getting a new equipment. Required you to lay people off. Required you to go into the tuition account. Required you to borrow money from your dad. Required you to put stuff on your credit card. Required you to call me. It's 19 years. It's 19 years of mistakes. Not being able to turn it around. I'm so tired and spent. I know you're tired. It's part of being a business owner, and you know that. That's the choice you make when you own a business. And so you drove all night. Yeah, you made the arrangements. We have a $5,000 bill or more here because you didn't get it inspected. Okay, you'll learn from it. You think I'm picking on you, I'm not. But I will tell you that now you know how your people feel. I think women want to maybe imagine themselves on vacation where maybe they're with their family or they're with their girlfriends so that they're actually with other people around them as well. We've done group photo shoots, but we didn't concentrate on that because that wasn't really where our target was falling into. We rented a yacht, we rented uh, an RV. I want women to feel like this model is on their vacation, kind of just lounging. Charlie, did you pick up on what Lisa said though? I didn't sense that you actually listened to it. She was saying that she rarely, if ever, put somebody by themselves. Did you, did you understand why she said that, though? I don't understand exactly, no. Why, why do you like to use pairing up? I well, she told you, you didn't listen to her. Excuse me. I want to work on our listening skills. I want to make sure that you're processing these things. Charlie, can you grab a, a brochure of ours to show them what it, what it would look like? Well, you didn't bring it with you. What would this chair retail for? Brand new. Brand new, that's a $1,700 chair. Oh. What do you see that's interesting about that cushion? This shouldn't be seamed here. Why is it seamed there? It was seamed because sometimes we make things work. Hey, sorry. We, we wanted to make it work, so we're going to give you a half, literally a half-ass cushion. It covers half your ass. Right. This is uh, not our best foot forward. It's in your showroom. Why is it in here? I mean, the place looks like a disaster. Mm, this is how all the dispensaries look. This is how we do our inventory system. We put the cans in here and we reorder based on what comes out of that garbage pail. That's our inventory system. This that's the I most know. ludicrous thing I ever heard. I, I couldn't figure out a process to do it. Well, that's your fault. Do it. Come up with a half-assed system on a yeah, they chalkboard. They do not inventory this stuff Who's in the they? computer. The managers. Who's reordering? The managers reorder from what they, Su these. Susan told me she reordered. No, the managers take the orders and they give her the numbers after they get them. What is 7G? It's all. These are the popular covers, the GNs, the The, the popular ones are the ones uh, we don't have? We don't put six, seven, eight on the shelf because then they disappear. They disappear? They disappear. Because nobody's counting them. You don't know what you have in here, do you? No, I have no idea. That is the single biggest reason that your general manager should be fired.